So hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. This week we are going to be modifying the frame we have previously built. So this is going to involve cutting in two T's into exact locations, pulling an offset bend, and using an integral ring solder fitting. So let's do it. Right, so the fittings we need for this is a 22mm, 22mm by 15mm compression T. And that is going to go somewhere here on the modification. Then we've got a 15mm end feed T, which we're going to solder. And that's going to go somewhere here. And we've also got a 15mm integral ring fitting. So this is where the solder is already built into the fitting and that's going to go somewhere here like this so that's the fittings we need to do the job but, but like always because we want to be accurate we're going to draw in the modification first So we can now very clearly see what we've got to do, the route we've got to do, like this, like this. Right, right so the pipe pushes into here. So the line there, and the pipe pushes all the way into that line there. Okay, so we've got to We've got to cut this bit out here and we know with a T it pushes in all the way to the end of the to here and it's going to push all the way in to here to there we do a line here Okay, so we need to cut this bit out here. So now we push it all back together. So here, like this. So we've cut the T, we've cut the two T's in. Right, so now we've just got to cut this elbow to the right height. So what we can do, push some pipe in like this. Push some pipe in like this. And we just mark just the end of the pipe there. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now we have to pour an offset bend. The actual height of the offset bend works out to be 90 millimetres. The reason why is because it's 150 plus 160 equals 310. And if you take that away from 400, that gives you 90 millimetres. So we've got to bend a 90 millimetre offset. And we know that the angle for this offset has got to be 45 degrees. Right, so I've got some pipe 440 millimetres long and we're just going to pop it into the fitting like this like this and we're going to right so the center of the bend has got to be here 120 mil in here so i'm going to draw a line 
here like this, like this. I'm going to show you first on the modern Monument Masters, then I'll do it again on the traditional benders. Right, so this is the pipe. I've taken it all out now. Right, so, right, so this is the centre of a 45 degree bend. Okay, so we're going to use the McCurran measure back technique. So looking at the charts, for a 45 degree bend, using 15 mil copper, we need to measure back 35 mil, which is here. Tick, 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 there. Okay, so this is the line we want it's a 35 that's how far we've measured back okay also we never trust our um pipe benders when we do assessments okay they're just a rough gauge so we're just going to set a folding ruler to right angle so with the measured back line it's just got to touch there so that's there so that's going to be the center of a 45 degree bend but we've measured back 35 mil to there then close the lid right we know roughly where 45 degrees is but never trust these on an assessment, have your folding ruler at hand just to check it. So, it's a 30. All right, so we're just coming into the 40 mil. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the pressure off. We're just going to check it with a folding ruler. And that looks perfect. Right, we then take the pipe out. Like this. We then turn it this way up into the pipe benders, like this. Right, and what we do now is we need to measure 90 millimetres. Right, so we hold a ruler on the edge like this. Okay, so it's touching the it's touching the former, and it's parallel. So that is currently reading about 65 mil. Wiggle it a bit bigger, like this. Make sure that that's parallel. Well, that's reading about 80 now, 80 mil. So we could just wiggle it a bit more, like that. We'll take a reading there. That's reading 90. 90. Put the lid back on. Make sure the pipe's nice and straight. Right, so once it's all nice and straight at the pipe, we then bend it back 45 degrees. Okay, but we can. Need to put the. Put, put this back on it, put the 45 back on it. Let's check it. We then take it out. Have a look. Job done. Okay, and if you're using the traditional scissor pipe benders, what you would do, put your pipe into the pipe bender. So that's the centre of the 45 degree bend. And that's a 35 mil measure back line. Okay, the measured back line sits here this time, just on the edge there. It sits just there. Okay, like that. We then bend it approximately to there, but we're going to check it with our folding ruler. We're just going to sort of check it in the folding ruler. Like that. And then Take the pipe out, put it upwards like this. So 
it's about 85 now, 85 mil. Go a little bit more. Just touching the edge of the former. 90, 90, like that. Right, we're going to make sure that it's all nice and straight, the pipe. Okay. We then bend it back 45 degrees. Okay. So, uh, check it with your ruler. So, that'll work. Push it into the fitting, push it into there. Just do a line just here, like this. Push it all in together, like that. Like that. Just need to solder this join here and solder this join here. Remember this join has got solder built into it and do this fitting up. Right, so after a minute or so, we then use a wet rag to wipe off the excess flux, like this. Like this. It's using a spanner. We then do up this compression fitting, nice and tight. So. Spanner. Nice and tight. Like this. Right, we're now going to test our works. We put a push fit stop end this side. We connect this side to the Pressure tester, like this. Under, it's under 10 bar pressure test. So in real life, you'd have to wait an hour for this, but we haven't got time. And if it was leaking, you would see it. Right, one last thing to do. Right, so now we just spend a minute cleaning our work up to present, to, so we can present it to the teacher. Using wire wool, get it nice and shiny and presentable. Put our work into the jig. Look at that. Look at that. Now you know how to do this job. It's your turn to have a go and do it as good as this.